Good morning. Please pay attention as we listen to today's scripture reading and the prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord my God has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear of all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord your God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are just as just as the whole law which I am setting before you today? However, take care and be earnestly on your guard not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Lord, give us the wisdom to know your words and the strength of will to live your words in our daily lives. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. St. John Bosco, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And please wait for a moment as we prepare for the Pledge of Allegiance. And we say together, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, March the 18th, and it is day five in the schedule. In science, we have learned the law of gravity. Very simple. What goes up must also come down. We have also learned the law of physical bodies. Two bodies cannot occupy the same space. We have also learned the Ten Commandments. These are God's law for a happy and organized life, not only spiritually, but also in our day-to-day -day, uh, relations and actions with those around us. In this morning's reading from Deuteronomy, Moses is telling the Israelites that they are called to obey the statutes of God the commandments of God that Moses has given to them. We know that these commandments, these statutes and decrees, speak of our relationship with God and then our relationship with others. Moses warns the Israelites as they're entering the promised land into a land of peoples who do not know or follow these commandments, these laws and decrees. And he reminds the Israelites, stay faithful to what God has told you regardless of what people around you say or do. And Moses says, Do these, and you will have a good life. Forget these statutes, forget these commandments, or refuse to live by them. Your life in the long run will be miserable. You cannot take the law into your own hands. This we also know from our own experience. We cannot take the law into our own hands and expect that there will be no consequence as a result. As we go about this day, may we heed God's commands, God's commandments, the Ten Commandments, and strive to live by them for this day, especially the commandment that says, honor your father and your mother. Thank you and have a good day.